I know, I know, I know you're tired. I know life hasn't worked out the way you thought it would. You may be sitting there through countless of hours of thinking, will my life ever get better? You look at the Bible with one hand and you look at your life with the other hand and it's just not adding up. How come I never get the breakthrough? How come it never works out for me? The Bible says in Matthew 5 verse 45, the rain falls on the just and the unjust. That's just the way life is. We have no say sometimes in what happens to us in life, in some situations. Sometimes things just don't go as planned. But you have a say in how you react. I'm going to ask you today, how are you going to react? The choice we have to make today is either we give up or we keep going. I'm going to challenge you today not to give up. The days spent worrying about the future are over. The days spent worrying about the future are over. The days of giving up are over. The days of living in fear are over. The days of living in fear about the past, about the present or the future are over. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. Do not fear your past. It is forgotten and it is forgiven. And it's time you forgive yourself and move on. Fear is not for you. It was never meant for you. It's just a tool the enemy uses to hold you, to disrupt your life, to make sure you hesitate, to make you panic, to stop you from moving forward. But you have to keep moving forward and stop looking back at your past. Look forward, look at where you're going. Stop spending your mental resources worrying about the past. God has a future for you. Do not fear the present because God has promised you, as thy days are, so shall thy strength be. Which means God has measured each day and will give you the strength you need to overcome it. Do not fear the future because God holds the future in his hands. You may not be able to see the road ahead of you, but God has seen it for you. If you follow him, you know you are going the right way. Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you follow God, you can never be lost. He is your shepherd. He will never lead you astray. Do not fear failure. All I know is that the fear of failure has stopped more people from reaching their goals than failure ever did. Even the most successful people have failed. Even the most successful marriages has its challenges. I don't know what you're about to give up on, but don't give up. If you give up, you have really failed. But if you get up and try again, there's a chance of you succeeding. You have to trust in God. Trust that God will make a way. Trust that God will give you your breakthrough. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, submit to him and he'll make your paths straight. You have to trust in him. Remember Jeremiah 29 11, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. It's not the end until you have given up. And as long as you still have breath in your lungs, that alone is enough for you to know you have another chance. Your life is not over. You're not too old. We must still have hope. We must never give up. There is still hope if you don't give up. And let me tell you something, stuff in life won't be handed to you. You need to have an aggressive mindset to win. There comes a time where you need to stand up. I've come too far now to give up. You're not going to give up. Don't throw in the towel. You've come too far. You were not born simply to give up. You have a purpose. Don't let the enemy stop you. Don't give up. There comes a time in every life when quit looks good. There comes a time in every job and every marriage when quit looks good when problems seem insurmountable, when the giants seem unbeatable, when the mountains seem unmovable, when defeat seems absolutely inescapable and retreat seems like your only logical option. 
I want you to remember it is always too soon to quit. Say that with me. It is always too soon to quit. Christopher Marley said, and I quote, someone who is a big shot is only a little shot who kept on shooting. Persistence is a fire in your bones that will carry you through ridicule, that will carry you through rejection and reversal. Persistence does not need public approval. Persistence does not need a slap on the back. Persistence could care less about being politically correct. Persistence says in faith, mountain get out of my way. Persistence says nothing is impossible to those that believe. Persistence says if God be for you, who can be against you? Persistence says the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. Persistence says faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Persistence says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Persistence looks at 10,000 coming against you from every direction as King David and says though a host should encamp against me. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. You're looking at the winner here. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Quit living life looking in the rearview mirror. Quit looking at the mistakes of yesterday and say it prohibits me from being all I can be today. Every page in this book says press on, endure, fight back, win. For greater is he that is within you than he that's within the world. Fight back. You're a child of God. The royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. God does not sponsor flops and he does not manufacture junk. You are a child of the most high God. You're going to stand in the winner's circle. You're not going to be the victim. You're going to be the victor because Christ is Lord over your situation. Only believe all things are possible for you. Never give up. Never. Never, 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 never give up. Stay at it. If you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot in it and hang on. If you get whipped, go home and lick your wounds and come out the next day and fight to win again. This book says nothing is impossible to you. If you believe that, that one verse will transform your mind and your life. This book says greater is he, meaning the Holy Spirit that is in you, than he that is within the world. This book says if God be for us, who can be against us? This book says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This book says let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not that means press on that means endure that means God cannot fail and you're not going to give up that's not an option for a child of God this means you are going to be the winner listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it you're never going to outgrow warfare you simply must learn to fight President Calvin Coolidge, President of the United States, said persistence produces success. His quote, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common in the world than unsuccessful men loaded with talent. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone will win the day. The slogan, press on, has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race. Persistence, do you have it? Without it, your dreams are an illusion. Without it, your dreams are a pipe dream. They're never going to be there. If all your life is, is a series of big beginnings, you're not ever going to get there. Stopping at third base is no better than striking out. It doesn't count until you go across home base. If you're always starting and never finishing, you'll never have success. God likes a winner. Revelation 3 and 5 says, He that overcometh, that means win, shall be clothed in white. I will not block his name out of the book of life, and I will confess his name before my Father and his angels. Revelation 3 and 12, to him that overcometh, that means win. I will make him a pillar in the throne of my God, in the temple of my God, and give him a new name. Revelation 3 and 21, to him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my throne. God loves a winner because you cannot win without persistence.
And let me tell you something. God can smell quit a mile away. And if you've got it in your nature, and if you've got it in your speech, God will put you in the fire until it gets out. If it's in your dictionary, go home and cut it out. Don't read it, don't think it, don't speak it. It's always too soon to quit. Here is what God is tired of. God is tired of his children giving up. Every time some adversity comes our way, we give up. You might be going through your darkest moment. You might be going through hell and high water. But I encourage you to keep going. To keep going. The Bible does not encourage giving up. If you need to work two jobs, work two jobs. If you need to sleep six hours instead of eight, do it. Make whatever adjustments you need to do to ensure your best chance of succeeding. God will give you the strength if you trust in him. Remember the Lord is your strength and your song and he has given you the victory. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. There is a reason why God says his strength is made perfect in weakness. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That is the Holy Spirit that is inside you. The spirit of power. The odds may be stacked against you, but God has given you the spirit of power. The dream inside you may be bigger than your ability, but God has given you the spirit of power. Building your company from scratch may be bigger than your ability, but God has given you the spirit of power. Raising those kids alone with no help may be bigger than your ability, but God has given you the spirit of power. Restoring your marriage may be bigger than your ability, but God has given you the spirit of power. The job you are applying for may be bigger than your ability, but God has given you the spirit of power. The house you are believing in may be bigger than your ability, but God has given you the spirit of power. You have the Holy Spirit inside you. You are more than a conqueror. And I am here today to tell you to stop putting your own limitations on God. The second you limit God is the second you start to fail. The only limits in your life are the ones you put on yourself. Because God has no limits to his greatness. He has no limits on the things he can help you achieve. So stop limiting God. He is without limit. His power is immeasurable. And his grace and mercy is without end. God has given you the Holy Spirit, the spirit of power. Therefore, you are more than a conqueror. You are able to succeed where others fail. You can soar where others fall. Reach the heights that you thought were never possible.